the inside of the eye is lined with a jelly called, uh, sorry, with a retina. And inside the cavity of the eye, uh, in opposition with the retina, is the vitreous gel. This is a jelly we're born with. Uh, and over a lifetime, it degenerates uh, and starts to break up. And eventually, it separates from the back of the eye. In the process, there are changes where tissues or cells that normally are deep to the retina find their way onto the surface of the retina. Uh, and they may just settle and not cause any problems. But in some cases, they form or proliferate and form a sheet called a membrane. And this is quite common over the age of about 50. Lots of people have these uh, membranes, but in most cases they are subtle and they don't cause any symptoms at all. Uh, as I have mentioned, these are quite common in patients who are over the age of 50. The membranes proliferate. They may stay as just a sheet and not cause any problems for patients. Occasionally, that sheet gets thicker and importantly contracts. And if it contracts, instead of the retina being nice and smooth, it starts to become undulated or uh, uneven, wrinkled is a word that is often used. If you imagine the retina as the film in the camera or the sensor in the camera, if it is wrinkled, the image is falling on an uneven surface and therefore there will be distortion of the images that one sees. And that is the main symptom uh, that patients have. Uh, and this distortion may progress uh, to a point where the vision is very, very blurred, uh, although most people will present before that point. We tend not to operate if a membrane is present and is not causing a patient any problems at all. We will operate if the membrane is causing symptoms. The main symptom that patient uh, will uh, mention or complain of is distortion. In other words, when you look at straight lines, they uh, have a, uh, a kink in them uh, or look wavy. Uh, this applies also to other surfaces, looking at window frames, door frames, uh, lines uh, in the road, uh, they become distorted. And uh, this can take away enjoyment. Uh, this can uh, affect uh, the ability to work, particularly if one uses uh, spreadsheets and, and other such uh, objects with, with lines on them. Uh, and can take away confidence when driving, can take away or affect confidence uh, just going out, negotiating stairs, uh, and so on. Membranes often just develop and do not progress. And this is in the vast majority of, of people where uh, the uh, membrane may never be symptomatic, may not be a clinical issue, uh, and no action or activity is required. If symptomatic, we know that some will progress uh, up to about 28%, I think in population studies, uh, will progress. Uh, and cause problems or symptoms for patients. In a small number of patients, when the jelly eventually separates from the back of the eye, that can result in uh, the membrane coming off with the jelly itself, uh, resulting in relief of symptoms. Treatment, uh, as I've mentioned, for the people who have symptoms, uh, is an operation called a vitrectomy. Uh, a vitrectomy is where we make three little ports or holes in uh, on the white of the eye, under anesthetic, of course, and we remove the jelly inside uh, to give us access to the back of the eye. We use a special dye to dye the membrane blue, which helps us uh, to ensure that we pick off or peel as much of the membrane as possible uh, in order for uh, the operation to be a success. Uh, the operation takes between half an hour to uh, about uh, uh, three quarters of an hour or so if no other uh, procedures are involved. It is mostly done under local anesthetic, although general anesthesia is available as an option. And it is 
are very successful at relieving symptoms. It is important to say that the relief of symptoms is sometimes not immediate. The membrane is peeled, but we do not iron the retina flat. Uh, the retina, the kinks or the wrinkles in the retina fall out, the, 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 the creases fall out over time and the retina assumes its more normal shape. The process can take up to a year and the main determinants of success are um, how long the membrane has been present. So it often is better to do the membrane earlier rather than later if it is uh, causing symptoms. Uh, how severe the uh, membrane distortion of the retina is. Again, if you imagine uh, if the tissues are very distorted, uh, even when you've removed the membrane, there is a lot more uh, smoothing or straightening of the tissues that needs to happen. And the third factor is the age of the patient. Uh, as we get older, the tissues are less pliable, less elastic, and therefore less likely to spring back into position or into shape uh, as easily as they do when we are much younger.